Good guys, you're my dad, Aristotle here. Today, we are looking into 8200 Pro family. I'm going to combine the R200 with the S200 heads to do multiple light setup. The first light setup is called clamshell lighting. It's very frequently used in beauty, makeup sort of photos. But here, I use it for outdoor photo. The ring lights with the reflector acts very much like a beauty dish. After adding S200, you can instantly see the difference. For the second light setup, I used R200 combining with UV130 as a key light over her face. And the S200 acts as a hair light, so she has a bit more separation from the background. Even with camshell lighting, you can have so much fun with it. Like, you can have a soft beauty dish kind of key lights and a harsh fill lights or soft fill lights. But here in this scenario, I use a very harsh key light because if you look into the magazine, different skin tones Beautiful. actually works with different harshness or different color of lights. Because Janet has this olive tan, harsh light actually works better on her to bring out her definition. And you'll notice the shadow parts, like it's optional. But for me, the shadow parts, it's too dark. That's why I use the ring flash as a fill light to bring out the shadow details. Especially she has this beautiful blue eyes. The fill light will make her blue eyes look extremely amazing. Hey guys, so here I'm trying to do some slow shutter for motion blur. Typically, you can do whatever you like. Personally, my preference is somewhere between 1 out of 15 seconds towards 1 out of 50 seconds. The reason is that you can have some noticeable motion blur, but it's relevantly subtle and you can still tell the background there, right? Regarding lighting, I can have one light set up with S200.
In conclusion today, we pretty much focus on the AD200 family, including the S200 stick lights and R200 ring lights. We use one light setup, but we're more focused on the multiple light setup. Here's my thoughts. One light is good, but it's always good to have multiple arrows in your quiver. So that in different situations, you can come up with different formula to be more creative. This is Umayyad Aristotle. I will see you in the next episode.